What up, what up? So I just got here about 6.51 a.m. Kind of overshot the traffic a little bit there. The reason I'm here so early is because everything starts about 7.30 a.m. and we go for the majority of the day and then we head back. So from what I hear, today's ground instruction, we get a whole bunch of flight time in and I guess I come back again tomorrow, do some more flight time and then do that check ride and earn that SES rating. So I got another probably about 20, 30 minutes before everything gets started and until then, might actually fucking take a nap. Finally got back. I actually returned about four o'clock. Traffic on I-4 was horrible. So my first day one full of training was actually from probably about 8 a.m., not including getting some of the paperwork taken care of at 7.30. So 7.30 to about three o'clock with about an hour of lunch. So a lot of flying, a lot of ground school, and I got to come home and do a little bit of studying as well so that I can go do more flying in the morning, a little more ground prep, the check ride prep of course, and then the actual check ride to get my SES rating. Just to give you guys an idea of what we did today, we actually did all the landings, all the taxis that we were supposed to do, so step taxi. We even did plow taxis, we did the idle taxis, uh, the glassy water landings, all the stuff that you need to know for that check ride. We're gonna spend a little more time on the ground school and the ground school tomorrow morning in terms of like sectionals and that kind of thing. But great first day, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I definitely had to focus. I think being comfortable with stick and rudder and looking outside of the cockpit is really important for this kind of thing. You get used to it if you haven't done this before, but I did get experience with this in the PT-17. Flying the Skyhawk and the Archer, they have different sight pictures, slightly different sight pictures, and you need to be looking outside because that's what we need to be doing anyways. And so that really made life a little easier for me. Still something to, to get used to, it was a different, I wasn't putting the nose on the horizon for like the Skyhawk or the Archer for a climb, for the 10 degree climb. It was different, I was in the Super Cub, so a little different in terms of a climb. There's no glass in it at all, so you really get used to listening to the actual engine, especially on the rough water landings, when you gotta give it a little gas right before you touch down. So again, I'm gonna go get some sleep. We got day number two tomorrow and we're going up starting about 7.30 a.m. tomorrow because all the paperwork's done. Come back and of course, we'll put in the IACRA application and get this thing done. Day number two, start at 5.40, so I got to sleep in this morning a little bit. I'm gonna head back out there today to clean up maneuvers and landings and all that good stuff, and then we are gonna head out and beach this guy and try to learn a little bit more about the ground session, kind of walk through that, and then of course the mock check ride, and then it's time to do the check ride. So I'm gonna finish my cup of coffee and get a little more energy and then head on out there and get this day started.
Just got back and I have a temporary airman certificate in tow. I am now an SCS rated pilot. Awesome check ride. Didn't get to record any of that, obviously, because you can't. It was just an awesome experience. If you haven't gone and done this, I would recommend checking it out. If you like any kind of lifestyle travel, aviation content, go ahead and press subscribe and the notification bell next to that. Any kind of questions on getting this kind of rating or what it's like to do with only about 200 hours, go ahead and leave a comment below. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See ya.